Lightning is one of the most impressive and powerful forces of nature. You've probably wondered if it's safe to drive in a thunderstorm, or how likely you are to be struck by one. So today we'll take a look at what really happens when lightning strikes a car, and I'll also explain what you should do if it happens to you. First, it is important to understand how lightning works. This phenomenon is essentially a massive electrical discharge that occurs when the difference in charge between the clouds and the ground overcomes air resistance. Lightning always seeks the path of least resistance to reach the ground, and even though your car's rubber tires are not conductive, that doesn't mean lightning can't pass through the vehicle. In fact, cars do not protect their occupants by stopping lightning, but by guiding it safely. This is where the Faraday cage concept comes into play. Vehicles with metal bodies, like most modern cars, act as Faraday cages, channeling lightning electricity around the structure and away from the occupants. We'll talk about convertible cars in a moment as they don't protect the same. This explains why planes, trains, and automobiles are often unscathed after being struck by lightning. Even electric vehicles, with their lithium batteries, are no more dangerous than gasoline cars in these situations. However, not all lightning strikes are the same. Some are relatively weak and may leave little more than a burn mark on the roof or require you to reset the infotainment system. But others, more powerful, can cause significant damage. Antennas, for example, are often the entry point for lightning and can explode from the force of the discharge. Tires, being non-conductive, can suffer damage when lightning passes through them, heating the air inside to the point of bursting. And if the car leaks gasoline or oil, the risk of fire increases considerably. But what about older cars or those with non-metallic bodies? In these cases, the protection is not the same. Convertibles or vehicles with retractable roofs offer less safety, since they lack a complete metal structure that acts as a Faraday cage. So, in the event of a thunderstorm, the safest thing to do is to seek shelter indoors and avoid driving unless strictly necessary. In extreme cases, lightning can totalize a vehicle, especially if a fire breaks out. But how often does this happen? Although millions of cars are struck by lightning each year, the odds of it happening to you are quite low, about 1 in 100,000. Still, it's important to know what to do if you find yourself in the middle of a thunderstorm. If your car is struck by lightning, the first thing you should do is stop in a safe place and keep your hands in your lap, avoiding touching any metal parts of the interior. Wait at least 30 minutes before getting out of the vehicle and check for external damage before continuing your trip. And if you need to file an insurance claim, be sure to take photos of the damage, get a weather report and take the car to a mechanic for a full evaluation. 